Good afternoon everybody, this is Shekhar Praveen, a research scholar from Kyunghee University. My advisor is Professor Chang Ho Lee and I'll be talking on the topic self-standing 3D printed flexible electrodes for lithium-ion batteries. The main reason behind carrying out this research work was to make the batteries for the next generation wearable devices as flexible as possible. But with the current technology, the batteries that are available are mainly rigid and are bulky in nature. It is vulnerable when being bended. One alternate route would be to incorporate conductive materials into the electrode itself, thereby making a self-standing electrode material, which can be used for flexible device applications. From the schematics, we can understand that we use uh, carbon nanofibers as our conductive matrix and uh, NCA as our active material and PBDF as a binder. We use the uh, different ratios of these three components and we printed them using a 3D printer over a glass substrate. On finally drying, we just peeled off the uh, electrode materials and uh, we just used it for a further electrochemical characterization and uh, full cell fabrication process. Before going into the electrode fabrication process, we just want to know whether the inks are able to have a proper viscosity in order to be printed by using a 3D printer. So the desired viscosity should be in the range of 10 raised to 3 to 10 raised to 2 pascal second. Uh, from the rheological curves, we can see that the, both the cathode and anode inks have a perfect viscosity in the in, in between the region 10 raised to 3 to 10 raised to 2 pascal seconds. And one common understanding from both the anode and cathode inks is that on increasing the CNF loading, the viscosity increases. After fabricating these electrodes, we just want to check the mechanical stability of it. So we carried out UTM analysis for it to get the stress strain curves of them. A common understanding from the stress strain curves from both the cathode electrodes as well as anode electrodes is that on increasing the PVDF loading, the mechanical stability increases and a direct influence on uh, CNF is also observed in the stress strain curve. Then we carried out electrical conductivity testing of these electrodes by using a four probe method. From the uh, values, we can find that all the electrodes has a conductivity in the range of one to five Siemens per centimeter which is well within the limit as reported. Furthermore, we carried out electrochemical study for the cathode self-standing electrodes under different C rates and we found that the material that has the lowest polymer loading has a better electrochemical performance when compared with the material that has the highest polymer loading. The above obtained results are tabulated in table 1 in order to identify the material that has a better mechanical stability, electrical conductivity as well as electrochemical performance. We found out that the cathode ratio having a 50-25-25 configuration and the anode ratio having a 60-40 configuration has a better electrochemical performance and a reasonable electrical conductivity and a moderate mechanical stability. And we, we use this material as our electrodes for realizing batteries for flexibility. After identifying the suitable ratios of anode and cathode self-standing electrodes, we just took the same morphology of the uh, electrodes and we came to know that a uniform and homogeneous distribution of NC active materials across the entire scan region was observed. Moreover, the material was porous and has a very well interconnected uh, CNF network structure across the entire region and when compared to the cathode electrode, the anode electrode is slightly thicker and has a well interconnected dense morphology. Then we went for studying the electrochemical performance of the self-standing electrodes and half cell configuration. The desired cathode configuration 50 25 25 ratio has a, uh, was studied intensively uh, between the potential window 3 to 4.3 at a current rate of uh, 0.1 C. The material displayed an initial discharge capacity of around 200 milliampere hour per gram, and the capacity retention achieved at the end of 50 cycles is 84%. In a similar way, the anode self-standing electrode having a configuration 60-40 was also studied intensively between the potential window of 0 to 3 volts at a current rate of 0.1 C. The, initial, the material showed an initial discharge capacity of 187 milliampere hour per gram and it uh, gradually increases and stayed close to 249 milliampere hour per gram by the end of 50 cycles. The gradual decrease in the initial discharge capacity was mainly caused due to the a microstructural transition uh, of uh, disordered to ordered structure of the graphitic layers that generally happens during the initial cycle. We have also studied the electrochemical performance of these uh, cell standing electrodes in full cell configuration between the potential window of 2.7 to 4.3 volts at a current rate of 0.1 C. The full cell displayed an initial discharge capacity of 197 milliampere hour per gram and the capacity retention achieved by the end of 50 cycles is uh, 76.14 percentage. 
the we can also see that the uh, printed self shining electrodes were bended twisted folded and rolled um, in extensively and the material was able to withstand uh, severe mechanical deformations um, which shows that these printed self shining electrodes would provide a platform for uh, realizing genuinely flexible uh, lithium ion power sources in near future i would like to conclude this presentation and thank you very much for giving me this opportunity